Hi, welcome to this update on Microsoft Teams. So um, if you're interested in Microsoft Teams, in Class Notebook and SharePoint, uh, feel free to check out our YouTube videos. We've got some guides on how to use Teams, how to set assignments, how to use Class Notebook and SharePoint. So that's all available on our YouTube channel. In this particular video, I'm just going to go through the latest updates uh, to Microsoft Teams in education and what the future updates are over this summer uh, 2018. So in Microsoft Teams, we've seen uh, quite a few new features come out over the year. Um, the most recent ones I'm going to go through in this video. So I'm going to go to the new assignment interface. And previously in Microsoft Teams, you could set an assignment to an individual class. Now that's changed and you have the option now to set it to the, the, the class, but you could also set it to additional classes as well. So if you're a teacher and you teach multiple uh, year 11 classes, you might decide that you know, you've got an assignment and that assignment is appropriate to more than one class. And you can set that now as an assignment to both of those groups. In addition to that, you can also assign it to individual groups of students or even individual students. So if you wanted individual learning plans where you're set setting individual assignments for students or to different ability groups of students, you can do that now within the assignment interface. So I can select a number of students for this homework and then I can set another assignment, maybe a higher level one for other students in the group. Um, so that's a new feature that's come out and it should be available to you now. Another one which was recently released is the ability to schedule your assignments. So you can now schedule your assignments to be published on a particular date and time. So for example, this assignment here, I could publish it a week on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And my students won't know about that assignment until it's published at that date and time. So you can schedule those in advance and that allows the teacher to um, create their assignments in advance. So they can create them for the, for the whole month or for the term or for even for the whole year if they wanted to. And those assignments won't be visible to the student until that particular date. So you can plan in advance and you can create those assignments rather than having to do it in the actual class itself. So those are, those are new updates and they should be available now to you in your tenancy, they've, they've rolled out now. Um, and over the summer, we've got quite a few more updates coming out, really exciting updates to Microsoft Teams. Um, I'll show you the link to this as well in the blog post, but um, we're going to have things like uh, rubric grading. So you'll be able to create some criteria and uh, grading for your assignments, and then you'll be able to easily, easily select those as you're marking the student's work. So again, hopefully make it a bit easier, a bit more consistent when you're marking student work inside Microsoft Teams. And um, some other features coming out soon as well. We've got tighter integration with Microsoft Forms and the assignments inside Teams. At the moment, you can use Microsoft Form quizzes inside Class Notebook. Um, we've done a video on that already. And you could also share that link and set it as an assignment. The only problem is, is at the moment, there's no real integration between the two products. So if you do create a quiz, those quiz results and points and grades aren't fed back into Microsoft Teams and into the assignment area. Now with this update, those, uh, those quizzes that you create inside Microsoft Forms, those results will go straight back into Microsoft Teams and into your assignment mark sheet. So fantastic new feature, going to be really easy to create multi-choice quizzes um, inside Microsoft Teams and assign it to your groups and get that, get those results back and feedback to the students. Um, a few other features coming out soon as well, I'll just mention a few of these. You've got page locking in OneNote assignments. So if you set some work for students, you can lock it after a particular date so they can't change it. Um, you can mute the students from the conversation. So um, inside Microsoft Teams, you've got the fantastic sort of collaboration area where you can have conversations with students. Now, if you want students to focus, you can mute them now. So instead of having to turn it off for all students, which you can currently do, you can just mute them temporarily um, while you're working in the class. Um, you'll also be able to reuse Teams as templates. So if you're manually creating those, you'll be able to um, start from an initial starting point. 
And for the rollover over the summer, when the school years roll over, you'll be able to archive off your classes. So they're going to a read-only mode, so they'll still be available. Um, once you're in the next year, you'll still be able to access resources and your work from previous years, but they'll be in a read-only mode um, because they're no longer getting updated, but you will still have access to them. So that's been a question that a lot of people have been asking recently is what happens uh, when the years roll over in the summer and those, those teams will be archived off, but they'll still be available in read-only mode so you can still get access to your resources, to your work um, that happened in the previous year. So really exciting updates coming to Microsoft Teams. Uh, we'll keep you updated, but uh, feel free to subscribe to us on YouTube uh, so you get the latest videos uh, pushed out to you. Um, you can check out our blog post as well. We've got a newsletter which you can sign up for on our website. Um, and if you've got any other questions, you can contact us via the Cloud Design Box uh, website contact form.